Alright, today I had an idea on how to uh, maybe improve the biogas plant digestation system and I did a quick video on this for TH Calhane and everyone else on Solar Cities and the other Facebook groups. Thanks for your comments, input, ideas. Appreciate your help. Biodigester, biogas plant, feeding theory number one. I've been thinking about different ways I could incorporate... Hey, TH! Been thinking about different ways I could incorporate the, uh, this very inexpensive irrigation system into the piping I use for the biogas plants we're going to be developing. And I'm not going to connect these in to show you because this is one that I already uh, cut off of a line. And I'm going to try and figure out a, a way to remove this so I can reuse it. Um, the last time I tried this I spent an hour on three of them and I destroyed two out of the three tubes, T's, to get these tubes out. So until I develop a more cost effective way to recycle this uh, dollar piece, uh, I, I'm not going to try and remove these again. Anyways, that's probably an editing point. So I was going off the theory that the bottom of the tank is typically where the um, pre-digestation happens and I believe the top of the tank is where the methane gas digestation happens with the different microorganisms. So I was thinking um, of using this pipe inside the barrel because it's a lot smaller in diameter and it would uh, maybe somehow I could adjust the flow rate so I could do an hour feed. I dump the food into the uh, feeding tube and it takes an hour to discharge into the barrel. I thought that might help speed process up. Anyways, I was thinking about using this pipe and I figured, well, we want it to go straight down to the bottom of the barrel. And then I thought, well, I could run a tube, I could put it in this T at the bottom of the barrel, and then run a circle around the bottom, so this tubing's all the way around, connected into both ends into this T, and drill holes in the top of it, so that the food source would come out the bottom of the barrel and up to the top, and then do just the, the, the exact same thing inverted at the top of the barrel. You have another one of these with... Uh, holes in it. It would actually be facing up too because it's coming out. But the holes would be in the bottom of the tube because it sits on the top and all of the um, effluent would come out of there and then go into the collection system and then the gas would come out its own little tube. But I was thinking you could have a circle at the bottom of the barrel and then a circle up at the top of the barrel and this might be a good way to evenly distribute your food source um, to increase your microorganism mass and mass as in numbers of them. And then another thing I wanted to consider about using for the bottom of the tank is after 10 or 15 years this drip irrigation tubing uh, starts to just decay and it's really not usable. Maybe 20 or 30 if you take good care of it. And it's got these little emitters and they plug into that main line I showed you earlier. Anyways, if I was thinking maybe if I just split these in half and just uh, wrapped them around the bottom of the barrel and to a certain height, maybe uh, one third of the depth of the bottom, that would create a coral reef effect for the microorganisms to grow in and that might actually um, allow more microorganisms per square inch as opposed to floating in water. And those were the uh, ideas of the moment I had on the biodigester, and I wanted to record this and share it with you. Thanks for your comments. All right, we're just here today. I came up with a couple of ideas for the biodigester, and I wanted to share them with TH on the Solar Cities uh, Facebook site and everybody else who's there. Give me your input, your thoughts, whatever you think uh, you might want to comment on. Mm -hmm.